It is Sunday morning and look at me, fresh out of the shower in a towel. Promise I will get my life together. Making some chorizo and eggs for Sid for breakfast. They made some bacon and eggs for me. I know, didn't we just say healthy alternatives to bacon and eggs? The bacon and eggs is an easy go-to and I did get a response about cooking my bacon at 425 that it should be 350. <clears throat> I'm re-educated. I wonder how long it's gonna take. I'll let you know. I'll update you on that later, but we're gonna do a day in the life vlog on, for me on a weekend, on a Sunday on the weekend. So I'll be popping in and out throughout the day, and then this evening I'll upload this video for all of you. Well, this will include our Monday meal prep, which is our lasagna, and just in and out throughout the day of my life on a Sunday, and how my hair ends up. I think I'm doing the Princess Leia blends again. I really like that because when I let them down, my hair looks super cute. I have curly hair, so it kind of helps it look beachy wave kind of thing. So I did that in a couple videos ago and I got a lot of comments on my Instagram messenger that they really had that they thought that looked really cute on me and I really thought it looked cute on me too. So ding, ding, ding. Thank you guys. But anyway, my name is Tony. I'm on keto diet. I have lost 68 pounds. I am on a stall, but I do have some thyroid stuff going on, but we will make it. I am 49 and three quarters years old, which means in three months, I will be the big 5-0. Ah, 50. If I live 100, that's half my life. I can't believe it's going so fast and everyone's growing so fast. All the kids and the grandkids and the things, all the things just are going by so fast these days. So, okay, I'm watching some of my YouTube videos while I make this trio and I will be back to check in with you guys in a little bit. Breakfast. Orange Monster's life. Hey guys, got my Princess Leia on. So, decided I wasn't filling eggs today. What? But I made myself, let's go down here. Made myself a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, and avocado mayo on a lavish roll up. I just cut it in half. So I, this is my little BLT sandwich. I'll cut it diagonal ways just for ease to eat it. But it is three slices of bacon, a, you know, a few leaves of iceberg lettuce, uh, some tomato, and some avocado mayo. Avocado oil mayo. No, yeah, all no olive oil mayo. Sorry. Anyways, so this is my breakfast, and the granddaughter's coming over. So everybody will get to see her. There we go. Everybody will get to see her in a little while. Okay, now that you can see, there's my sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and get on with our day because we have lots to do. Check back in you in let me do. Check back in with you in a little while. Hey guys, back in. So it is three o'clock, and unfortunately the baby's not coming. Boo. Yeah, I have a mess over there. Don't pay attention to that. Right now we got our mandolin and our zucchini. <clears throat> and we are slicing this up to make some zucchini al gratin. It is going to be good. We're gonna use this and some red onion. I have some cheese that I had blended, that I had um, shredded in my, um, you know, with that food processor. I couldn't think of anything today. So, like, here's the, the zucchinis. But I'm the three setting on my mandolin. So, but be really careful. I have taken the end of a finger off with one of these before. It's one of those things you're like, can I get a mulligan? It happened so fast. I didn't mean to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna going to slice two zucchinis on the mandolin. And then we're gonna use our ninja foodie. And we're gonna make our I'm using my safety guard for the last few pieces because I'm telling you I have hurt myself on this thing. Alright. <clears throat> so zucchini number two. I'm gonna go ahead and get this sliced up and then we'll be back to see what we're gonna put in our ninja foodie to make our zucchini are gratin. I'm excited, it's gonna be yummy. We got a lot to do today for meal prep. The meal prep for more days than just Monday today. So there's a plan of action. If Sid's gonna be coming into our recording space, we're gonna need him to put a hat on. Just saying. Be back in a minute. All right guys, we're in the pan. We're having some 
technical camera issues over here, but we're here in the foodie. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of this, just because when this comes to temperature, we don't want them to burn to the bottom of the pan and stick. So we're gonna just start layering our zucchini. And you can do this in a cast iron in the oven. It would be great. Or there's a lot of different ways. You can just do it in a casserole dish. Um, but I personally love to use my foodie when at all possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting these in here in a layer and I'll be back when we talk about what we're gonna do between layers. Okay guys, got our first, our first layer of zucchini in. I'm taking some red onions that I um, had left over from that Green Chef meal and I just sliced them into moons is what I call them, but however you wanna call them. I'll put that on here and then we're going to get some salt and pepper. We want to season each layer so zucchini is kind of not a real strong flavored vegetable so um, we are going to get some of our pink salt out here and because we're doing several layers we're not going to use too 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 much we're going to have to go with our regular pepper um, and not fresh correct because that's what I have because my fresh correct one is out I can find it because I don't ever use it. This is the seriousness. Like we don't even have pepper here. Okay, so let's just put some pepper. Got that done. We're right now going in with some cheese. Now I just have some cheese that I had mixed up in my. Um, so it's kind of clumpy. I mixed this. I did shredded this in my um, food processor. So we're gonna go in with a sprinkle of cheese. Not you know, like a super thick layer. We're, we're gonna have a lot of layers here. So we don't wanna go crazy. We wanna go cheese crazy. All right, so we're gonna go in with another layer of our zucchini and then I will be back. Okay guys, we have our zucchini in. We're going in again with our onions. I don't know about y'all, but I'm super excited for this. So we're gonna get this all some onions in here we probably have enough zucchini for maybe maybe one thick layer or may, we might make two more we'll just see what we have we just want to not waste this zucchini and i know the girls are going to go ape crazy over this tomorrow so if you guys are watching and then we're going to go again with our salt and pepper Okay, and then we're going to start put some cheese and then start with our zucchini again. So we'll be back with the next layer. All right, guys, we're going to make the au gratin portion. So we're going to go with a fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream. And this I'm just making up as I go. You can make more heavy whipping cream if you want more of that kind of au gratin. We're gonna go with some Parmesan cheese. I like the way it browns up, so we're just gonna put some of that in there. We're gonna put about a half a teaspoon of some garlic powder. Of course, we're gonna go in with some pepper and some salt. And we're gonna mix this up. We did end up having three layers. I may add just a touch of water to this to thin it a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna need some more. Let's go with another fourth of the heavy whipping cream. So we're going half cup heavy whipping cream, whatever we did with our quarter. I just want enough to get all over. So let's just double this up. Like I said, I make this up as I go along, so you know what? I can put whatever I want in there. A little more Parmesan. I have a little bit left of the grated cheese that I had from last week. I'm gonna go use that. We'll go ahead and season this with a little bit more garlic and pepper. I think we're salt, or we're good on that because Parmesan is salty. 
So let's just get this stirred up. Yeah, that looks like much better ratio to go on top of our zucchini on cotton. So, nice and mixed. You can use a little whisk if you want. Just try to save dishes, because you know, I'm not a fan. If you've watched my channel, you know I hate dishes. If you want to ask my husband, he's here in the room and he knows how badly I hate dishes. True or not true, babe? Yeah. <laughs> All right, babe, that's noisy. Okay, so we're gonna get this in here and we're going to spread it around. Thank you. Make sure the whole top of this is covered. Like I said, this is kind of, I used this, I was gonna use a little 10 inch skillet, a cast iron skillet, and I probably wouldn't have had to use as much stuff, but, so there's our, our gratin layer, which should come out toasty and delicious. So we are now going to close the lid and we are gonna put our Ninja Foodie Hold on, let's go up here. Okay, we're gonna close the lid. I'm gonna turn on the Ninja Foodie. I know I never show like the buttons I push, but I don't know why people think I need to do that, but I've had some comments. Okay, close the lid. We're gonna hit start. We're gonna go on bake at 350. Ooh. And we're gonna go for 15 minutes and then we're gonna check on it and see where we're at and we may need to go longer but this is gonna be loud so off to the next meal prep see you back a few hey guys so just an update so this has been five minutes and it's already getting pretty crispy on the top but I know that that zucchini on the bottom is not cooked through so I'm gonna turn it down and we're going to cook it at a little bit a lower heat and I'm putting on air crisp because that is not as intense so we're gonna just take our temp down to 300 and then we're gonna put our time to five more minutes and then we're gonna we're gonna slow it down a little bit it's getting a little dark on the top and that kind of concerns me so the recipe that I was kind of mocking so to speak um, I did it in the oven so that's a total different vessel so you hear my ninja I don't know why mine's so noisy but anyway um, we're gonna keep on going so we just fly by the seat of our pants so we're gonna let this hang out for about five more minutes and we'll check it again and then once this isn't so noisy we'll get on with the rest of our meal prep we're gonna do some taco meat um, uh, Sir Sid, he's gonna have some tostadas tonight, so he did, so we did some smash beans for him. She had a part with breakfast, and he's gonna have some tostadas this, this afternoon for lunch, and then um, we'll get prepping. I'm still thinking about doing keto ginger posted on Instagram that she did an egg roll in a bowl with chicken, and I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I bought. I was trying to decide what to do. I do have some coleslaw mix I could use for that. I have some broccoli, florets. I don't know, I'm still, I'm still deciding, I know. But anyways, we're gonna get some milk prep. We're also gonna make some burgers. We're gonna do those in the Ninja Foodie as well. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get on with our day and we'll see whatever we get into. But we do need to milk prep something for breakfast because that's where I'm struggling and getting keto friendly fast food but i really just need to take stuff from home so we're definitely doing some bacon in the oven and then we will figure out what we're going to eat with it but i've been doing the blt situation and that i'm really loving so we might do some blt situation maybe for the week. but we'll see i will see you back in a bit it is now 3:30. hey guys having a cheese stick it's 3:30. I'm starving. I didn't really make some food to eat, but mm, I will. <laughs> anyway, just checking in. Put the the agua on, on for 10 more minutes at 300. So got about four minutes left. We shall see. All right, guys. Here we are. Zucchini agua gratin, and it they're cooked really well. Mmm. I want to taste it, but I don't want to. It looks so pretty. Look how pretty it is. All right. 
I'm gonna get some out. Let it cool off a little bit so we can give it a taste. Yummy. It's freaking delicious. Next time, I'm totally doing it in a cast iron in the oven. But it tastes good. I just prefer my zucchini like super cooked. So I would have to burn the top in the foodie to get it to be like I like it. But if you don't mind a little bit of bite to your zucchini, which after it sits overnight and then we reheat it tomorrow, it'll probably be perfect. But mm -mm, it's good. This is really good. Super good. I should have done this on just like a video by itself. <laughs> yeah, this is yummy. Hey guys, it's Tony. So guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here at the end of the zucchini bit, the zucchini recipe. It ran into my meal prep video and it made a tremendously long video. So my Monday meal prep was not just the zucchini, which took a really long time because i kind of showed it step by step it was a new recipe to me so i wanted to be sure i gave it justice because it is absolutely phenomenal so if you did like the zucchini recipe the zucchini au gratin recipe please give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe and do all the things youtube and absolutely i need seven more subscribers i hit 300 why am i still here at seven i had I only needed six at one point, but I guess someone unsubscribed. Boo. Anyways, you guys, I'm super blessed and super happy to have, to be a part of the YouTube family and to made such wonderful friends. And I enjoy sharing my wonderful and delicious food, but can't take credit for everything. I do her recipes or I use them for inspiration and it works for me and it makes me feel happy to eat food that I enjoy. And I hope you, make some of the food that I make and enjoy it too. So when I, what I always say and what I always mean through all my heart is thank you so much.